I was a drummer and actually uh, had an interest uh, in recording and doing recording and I started out with a bought myself a four track and and um, started fooling around with that and um, I started getting more and more equipment that I thought I could do a better job with. I started to write songs too and record my own songs and, and um, I don't know one day I woke up and thought gee I got a lot of equipment here now I wonder if anybody else would like to use this so I put a little ad in the paper and started getting phone calls and, and uh, from there it, it just grew and grew and grew here I am. Can you tell me a little bit about the format of your studio or what kind of service you'd be offering? Well, this is a 16-track or a 24-track studio. Um, and um, basically what I do is I record bands. It's really my, my thing, or, or individuals that like to sing. And um, um, I have sort of everything here I need to do a good job doing that. Well, this is the mixing board, and it's um, fairly new, and and it's big enough to handle the 24-track and the 16-track. And um, there's compressors up here, and reverbs, and more, all kinds of gear over there that very fast and everything. It's got a lot of uh, analog gear here. Is that, is that a preference? The world is going digital, but uh, there is still a need for analog. Why didn't you get anything about that? Yeah, I um, I really love analog. And, um, I guess maybe because I grew up with it myself. But I've compared, you know, the two mediums. I've rented digital machines, and, and still nothing really quite sounds the same to me as, as my analog machines. And you know, I've noticed they even build machines now that you can run your digital through it to try and get that analog sound. And you know, I really can't really see the benefit of doing that. I'd rather just stay analog. Well, I'm definitely an engineer, um, and I consider myself, I'd have to say, for the most part, a co-producer. You know, I'm usually working with the bands who have a pretty good idea of what they want, and it's my job to, to get it for them. Now, maybe that's a producer's role, but um, I don't know. I don't really feel that I should take full credit for something most of the time. Sometimes I actually do fully produce something, and that's a real joy. Um, but, you know, bottom line is it's it's a group effort, so you have to have a good rapport with who you're working for and uh, do your best to, to get what they want. Um, uh, the inspiration is that, like, like I say, I did not feel for her this way back then, meaning that uh, now that I'm as old as I am, she's that much older and she's basically a woman. So. Now, there's still that age difference, but I mean, she's under 20, so it makes makes it right. You know what I mean? Uh, what, what's the what's the game plan with this tune, or are you working on uh, it? Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just working on a, on a series of tunes, and uh, hopefully, you know, see where it goes. We, you know, I've done the band thing, and uh, you know, with. Uh, Members dropping out and stuff like that, and the core is still there. I recommend anybody who, who wants to get into recording to just do it themselves for, uh, for the first little while. Just gives you um, just gives you uh, you cut your teeth on, on on the feel of what it's like to hear yourself on tape and uh, you know how the process works and you know, the whole multi-tracking stuff. It's fans who are used to just playing off the floor kind of thing, you know, not actually recording, you know, may find it a little intimidating the way that the process works. This actual thing that I recorded here was um, actually, oddly enough, it's, it's half of it is 8-track um, that I did at home, real to real, and there's a uh, it's actually a drum machine that I, I sort of played off pads, and um, there's a bass player who's the other half of the project, or rather what's left of, of or rather, the core of, 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 of the band that's what the project is at the moment, and uh, there's just guitars added uh, at home, but I've, I've decided to do all the vocals here, because uh, I'm not a master of uh, vocal recording. And, uh, it's an amazing job.